This is the Bro Day Pod. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season. This is going to get so old so quick. No, it isn't. Two of the Bro Day hashtag No Plumbing podcast. My name is Treno Day. My name is Gabriel Zaya, bro. And we're Bro, bro Day. Day. And this. Tell them. And we. We. Are experienced, experienced podcasters. podcasters. Because we. Have an entire... Wee! Wee! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to get old. It is, yeah. I don't yeah. care. Well, uh, we have a full season. Full season's worth. Epi- 29 episodes. 29 I went back episodes. and saw it. Uh, ish. Ish? Ish. Because there's, there's a recap. There's a 30th there's one. There's a really poor recap episode. Oh, bro. It's dross. <laughs> it, is, it is dross. I but was like, yo, all good to put the recap episode out? <laughs> and you were like... We're doing this again, are we? Yeah. And you were like, yep. There's no, uh, there's no evidence of any of that happening. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And there's a mystery third, uh, no, 30th Christmas episode. Yes, but you said mystery third. There is a there mystery, is a mystery third, third right here at the a podcast. That's right. Trent, intro the We're please. We're straight. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. We are straight out of content. So we are pulling the guests in early absolutely pulling the guests in early damn straight ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen from the wrong side of the tracks it, oh the right side of the tracks oh, is whatever. canada considered the right side tell them just give them the name sorry uh we have avira a voltaire play the applause thing Woo! we haven't got it so Yay. you get a is that it sting oh yeah sorry sorry, sorry. we should say sorry uh say hello vera <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Very good. Right. So Vera, what, what season is it? Season two, y'all. And it is the it's it's the thump something season. You you watched the first episode, you know what it's, it is. It, that's the button, right? Yep, that's yeah. the button. <laughs> it's the sting season. Oh, that's the back end. Yeah. Can I wait? I can't hear it. My thing's It's definitely playing. Oh it is? It's definitely playing. Okay, cool. Fair enough. <laughs> um it's the sting season. <laughs> How can how many times can we get this in? No, uh, <laughs> at so least many. seven. So many. So Vera is here with us today as a little bit of uh, diversity. Mm. I guess. Yeah, yeah, we're accept- absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Diversity from a different different universe than us, uh, from a yeah. different planet than us. We've heard, yeah, say. we've heard terrible things, uh, but you seem okay in person. Yeah, in person, but not in spirit. Oh, oh, evil. Maybe. Possibly. We'll either. find out. We'll find out. Pod. And the judgment shall be passed at the end of the episode. Ooh. Is Vera evil? Very good. In spirit. Is she vivil? Is she vivil? Is she vivil? Very, isn't that a Pokemon? Vivil? Maybe. Almost. Isn't that something you find in old food? Vivil. 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 Yeah. A <laughs> nice. Very good. Right uh, isn't a vivil uh, one of those little... It's like an otter, but it's got like buck teeth and it's kind of sly. Oh yeah, Vivo. It's a Vivo. Yeah, a Vivo. Yeah, Vivo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. Isn't like a a, a Vivo one of those like uh, the animal that Heracross is based upon? A Vivo? Beetle? Ah. Uh, oh, <laughs> that, 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 that was a stretch. That was a stretch. That's average. <laughs> Come on. Oh wow. All right, Vera, just rocking up on the pod and going straight into the judging <laughs> going Gabe. Straight in. Yeah, okay, I'm all about then. judgment, folks. Oh, uh, so, Vera. Vera. Yes. How long have you been in the wrestling business? Um, this is my second year in the wrestling business. Ooh. What do you do? I was a complete virgin to the wrestling business previous to this. So what do you do now? Can I say that what do you do now? Tell us about what happened to the question. Currently, <laughs> I am the commissioner of QWA. Ooh, Ooh very Flash. good. And are so, you enjoying it? Is it something you enjoy? I love it. I run the boys into the ground. I Damn. run the boys into Fit shape. Damn. Good. Now As you have a you have a should. uh away from wrestling, you have a background in theater, correct? Correct. Theater mm. and uh TV, film, drama. Yep. So I spent many years doing musical theater, singing and dancing, and I have done film and television in the past as well. Oh nice. Sook. Sook. <laughs> Sook. Uh you had aspirations once to become an actress? I did early. Da- oh, oh, I can see where this is going. Oh, wow. where is this going? <laughs> where is this going? Uh, no, I don't think we can tell the story. Is this it needs story to be, time? It needs I'd, to be PG. Uh, like, okay, well, PG. it's not a PG story, we folks. We semi swearing last episode. We'll probably semi swear in this one. No f bombs. No f bombs. If you do, we get a cheeky. 
In one of them ones. But no f bombs. No f bombs. But everything else, we're, we're, bit, yeah, yeah, we're, we're okay. We're a bit loose with our shit. <laughs> 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 the word. <laughs> the word shit. All right, good. FYI. So, Vera, you're going to be participating in our podcast today. So, yeah. we've got segments that we tag in and out of. Um, As you know, because you've seen and heard every single episode, like our Bro Day No Plan B podcasting fam have. And as you know from the previous episode, we're trying to find a theme, a question. Yeah, we don't have a theme. For oh. season two. Is this like the bread and cheese Bingo. question? Bingo. Oh. very good. But we don't have By one. By law, we are part of the hashtag cheese fam. Woo, cheese fam. They're Fe- all about nah, you can't do it. Law. You can't do it. By Vera. law, you are on this podcast. You are obligated. We are part of the hashtag. Fine, cheese, cheese is fam. great. Even though I ah. do not. All you need. That's is we'll, we're going to delve the hashtag well in. cheese fam. It's the cheese Fine. fam. Thank you very but much. Season two. Something that I can, um, I've sort of delved a little bit with for the question. Okay. Right? I've okay. sort of I've put the feelers out a little bit. Right. Okay. One is tomato. Ooh. Tomato Ooh. yes or tomato no? Yeah, are you tomato no or are you tomato yes? I'm tomato no. You do you are v- uh, v- vermit vehement vehemently. Yes, you vehemently are vehemently against tomato. I, I'm too Is much it with, vehemently too or maybe. vehemently? I've gone too much with the big words. You're very not tomato. <laughs> I'm, I'm very pro tomato. tomato. Oh, I'm all don't about tomato. To, yeah, I don't mm. need political. Cherry tomatoes, gimme. Oh. But Any okay, form. no, okay, sorry. But Can it's I an just? overall though. Can I just, for people out there that don't like tomato, how often do you cop this, right? Tomato, first of all, is baseline garbage. No. Now, I'm, I'm willing to accept that. And Incorrect. you need to accept that too. Incorrect. But in the off chance that you tell someone... You are a loud minority in this one, I think. No. Um, <laughs> for in the off chance that you tell someone I hate tomato, right? How often do you cop this? Or just... If you just try a cherry tomato, no, I think you'll enjoy it. I'll and be they honest. They give you never. You, they give you hell in a small berry, I, as which a, you then eat. It explodes. It ejaculates. The disgusting. You meant French. Why did you have to say ejaculates? Well, because I felt gross saying you were describing the actual, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was an oral description. It was an oral, and it that yeah. in your mouth, and it's just delicious, disgusting, delicious. No. Who goes, I'm going to suck in that. Listen. Listen. Very delicious. Cheese, tomato. I'm going to tell you let's, this right now. Let's piss on it. That's any, tomato. Anytime. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to circle back. Anytime someone has said to me, I don't like tomato, I've never been like, oh, try a cherry tomato. I I've bet you have. Like, no, I'm like, tomatoes are great. You're wrong. And that's pretty much it. And they go, no, it's not. And then we just continue on with the conversation because it's uh, very I'm BC pretty gui- great chat. I'm guilty of the cherry tomato. Comment. Really? I told yeah, you. I, s- I told you Especially so when you grow it yourself. It's the yeah, most yeah. obnoxious thing somebody can do is they offer you a cherry tomato. Uh, really? That's yes. the most obnoxious thing. In the context of this conversation, absolutely. All right, fair enough. But- there's a possibility there. All right, maybe. To my yes, to my no. But I feel like it's a it's not very 50 to 50 50 ish as bread and cheese was. I feel you like reckon? This, is, this is yeah, bro. This is probably 80 20. My our way. Tomato, yes. Fine. All right. If so right now, to my yes, to my no, we'll put out a little poll thing. I'll I'll do it. I'll put You'll a little poll bodied. thing out. <laughs> nah, if it's if it's within the 60 40 range. That's it. And, and I'm that's recruiting all year. Yep. All right. I'll I'm back recruiting Can we year. comment on whether the tomato is cooked in nah, things? No. Nah. Like, it's it's tomato, tomato, yes, tomato, yes, no. Oh. You are picking a blank. That's it. It's bread or cheese. It's tomato, yes, tomato, no. It's So A-O-B. pizza base, folks, if you don't like tomato on pizza base, the yeah, cooked tomato, it. come on. No, wait. No, bad, bad, wrong, incorrect. Uh, see? Oh, your, your, he's confused, Your folks. argument has no legs, bro. Mm. Your argument is Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> All right. You ain't got no legs, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Anyway, uh, so speaking of something funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> the first segment. Tag. Hey, Trent. And? Hey, Vera. Hey, what? You guys want to step into a universe? <laughs> sure. Oh, boy, do I. Play the sting. That one? Play the sting. Play the sting. Play the Play the sting. Wrong one. I've hit the wrong button. That's the wrong button. I've hit the wrong button. It is the wrong button. Folks, I'm over talking this so it doesn't come up. Oh, that's the wrong button. Boo, wrong button. Uh, production. Your segment. Live on air. Oh, it's Your this segment. One. How embarrassing for you. This is Beer by the Butthole. 
very fancy. We read stories and judge them. And said judgment is of the butthole variety. We tell you, the listener, if the person is a butthole or not. <laughs> this is Beeth I the Butthole <laughs> and Fade Out. I like that you hit the fade out and didn't just abruptly no, cut yeah, like the yeah. last one. I'm learning ish. I've obviously not learning enough because I hit the wrong button. That's <laughs> but ladies that was, and gentlemen, that was very good. Beeth, I the butthole. I love these things and I love that. I'm a fan of this game. Yeah, very good. Yeah. So as you said previously, you were like, you want to pass judgment and whatnot. Here we are. We're passing judgment. We're passing I have, judgment. I am queen of this domain. I have, <laughs> I have two stories. Ooh. Okay, so we'll go through one each, and you just okay. tell us. Is the person a butthole? Because we're keeping to PG, like I said. We're mm. loose with the shit, but we're not, <laughs> <laughs> we're not loose. Pardon the pun. <laughs> we're not, we're, <laughs> I hear the bro day hashtag known by me podcast. <laughs> we're all about loose shit. But Strong segments. But not the rest. The other swear words, we, uh, we're careful about them. Yeah, so that's okay. why gotcha. this is Beeth I the butthole. Okay. So the title. Yep. My best employee quit on the spot because I wouldn't let her go to a college graduation. Oh, butthole. So yeah, far. that seems that's mega butthole. That's massive butthole. butthole. That's yeah. huge butthole. Yeah, definite loose shits with that butthole. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's um, not even touching the sides. So it's a subway foot long going in, coming out the same. Nice. It's huge butthole. Huge butthole. Massive, massive. butthole. Anyway, stop talking about it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I manage a team and part of their jobs is to provide customer service over the phone. Due to a new product launch, we are expected to provide service outside of our normal hours for a time. This includes some of my team coming in on a day on a day our office is normally closed based on lowest seniority because no one volunteered. One employee asked to come in two hours after the start time due to her college graduation ceremony being the same day. She was taking night classes part-time in order to earn a degree. I was unable to grant her request because she was the employee with the lowest seniority and we need coverage for that day. I said that if she could find someone to replace her for those two hours, she could start later. She asked her coworkers, but no one was willing to come in on, on their day off. After she asked around, some people who were not scheduled for the overtime did switch shifts with other people, but not her, and volunteered to take on overtime from others who were scheduled, but those people are friends outside of work. And as long as there is coverage, I don't interfere if people want to give or take overtime of their own accord. A caveat, I did intervene and switch one person's end time because they had concert tickets that they had already paid for, but this was a cer special circumstance because there was a cost involved. Oh... I told this team member, uh, whereas I told this team member that she could not start two hours late and that she would have to skip the ceremony. An hour later, she handed me her work ID and a list of all the items she had worked late slash came in early slash worked overtime for each and every one of her coworkers. Then she quit on the spot. I'm a bit upset because she was my best employee by far. Her work was excellent. She never missed a day of work. Are you kidding? Oh my god! And this person's going. Am I the bad guy here? <laughs> Do you know who else is the butthole? Is the coworkers buttholes? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the lot of them. Yeah, you're saying a row of buttholes and um, concert tickets. Come on. Yeah, I know, right? Because it's paid for. Oh. Anyway, sorry. I assume yeah, there's continue. something coming. Yeah, there's more. So her work was excellent. She never missed a day of work in six years. She worked here, and she was my go-to person for weekends and holidays. Even though she doesn't work here any longer, I want to reach out and tell her that quitting without notice because she didn't get her way isn't exactly professional. I only want to do this because she was an otherwise great employee and I don't want her to derail her career by doing this again and thinking it is okay. She was raised in a few dozen different foster homes and has no living family. She was homeless for a bit after she turned 18 and besides us, she didn't have anyone in her life that has ever had professional employment. This is the only job she has had. Since she's never had anyone to teach her professional norms, I want to help her so she doesn't make the same mistake again. What do you think? This person, I the butthole. Bro, you're an idiot. You're yeah. an idiot, a moron. You're a butthole. Yeah. You are just the worst. Not only are you a butthole and dumb yeah, for good. losing yeah. your best employee. Strong. But you're just a jerk, mate. Yeah, like, like terrible. Come on. Six years. At six years, how are you lowest seniority and at that point? Yeah, also that. You are a peer. Yeah. You are a senior. Bro, six years. Are you kidding? And what do we call the girl? Because she's a champion. What's the opposite of butthole? A mouth what? hole? Oh, yeah, mouth hole, yeah. No, like, okay. So, is she the mouth hole? Absolutely. That was, she is a champion. 
That was in July 2016. We have a response. Oh, February 2022. <laughs> Spicy. From the young lady. This is... What a segment. This is a, this is a hole that just keeps getting deeper. <laughs> yeah. I feel outraged, frankly. Gabriel, you with the shovel man. <laughs> I am. Keep digging up. <laughs> I am. Up gold. I am produ- I am and I am completing a circle here. I'm telling a story and I'm giving you a, a, a <sighs> I'd love a good rebuttal. Finale. Come on. So, a, a good rebuttal in a tight dress. Hmm? Not the same word? No, different. <laughs> different, different word. Yeah, yeah. Different. <laughs> rebuttal. Anyway, so, uh, February 2022, we had a response from the young lady. Okay. She says, this is about me. I know for a fact it is because this exact thing happened to me in that time frame and I know exactly who it was. I'd like to tell this person that I have a general idea of the social norms, but redacted medical conditions make it impossible to, sa- to stay on, the side, uh, on this side of reality very long. I did, however, get medicated and become a general manager myself. That would never be a jerk like he was. And it wasn't about the graduation at freaking all. It was so much more than that. It was about having one day that was just mine. Joke's on him, though. That diploma has gotten me further in life than I would have ever gotten without. Sis. Yeah, good. 100%. That dude is an idiot. Like, that is one of the worst customer management... Dude, oh, sorry, client terrible. management strategies ever. And, like, the absolute... Like Not client, this, employee, employee management. This dude's clearly got no idea what's going on. If he's out here being like, hey, guys, um, should I reach out and tell her yeah. that it wasn't that you're professional. unprofessional. Like, Such poor management skills. And imagine having that background and having the confidence that she has to come out and say no. Yeah, and imagine the fact that, that. She, the fact that, that she found it and was like, nah, yeah. I'm yeah. about to just rip this. I'm dude. a huge fan of this chick. What's your name? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I assume she watches the podcast. Yeah, I have yeah, yeah, no yeah. reason yeah. to believe that she doesn't. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen at home, if you know her, let, get us, get us in touch. Yeah, you're, you're a champion. Yeah, yeah. yeah the commi- the commission wants to let you know something. That you're- was unbelievable. Like, that's just the stones to I be like, no, no. I gotta reach shoot out. Shoot someone. Shoot someone like, hey. clean in the chest, and then be like, ah, am I the bad guy? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I'll call the ambos. Yeah. Should I call the ambos for it? Standing in front of the bullet. A little unprofessional. Not <laughs> yeah, lie. exactly. I'm not going to lie. Being in my way, bit of a dick move. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, man. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Mm. I'm. Treat not your employees like that. I don't know how he's this woefully, woefully self-aware. Like, that's just atrocious. And but yeah. what's your name? Because we're going to get you fired. Hmm. Yeah, also your name. <laughs> um, we need, give us what... So our judgment... <laughs> podcast has become a hit list. <laughs> <laughs> so judgment shall be passed. I can add the them butthole. to my list of wanks. What? What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Rephrase. Rephrase. No, 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 no. Go on then. My list of. You want me to give I you had... a shovel? Dig up. <laughs> <laughs> remember on, last season? No. People of. Last remember season. last season, bro? I barely remember last episode. <laughs> <laughs> last season. Actually, folks at I had home, a list of people last remember. season. You guys are great. Yeah, you guys are awesome. I had a list of people that I added to. Yeah. My list of idiots. Bro, you, you talk, I sometimes zone out. <laughs> no, I remember. Oh, wait, I do remember. The oh, guy he the, remembers the guy now. The, uh, from my segment, the guy with the f- uh, golden hair. Yep, gold hair. The gold chains hair. in his hair. Yeah, that guy. Because that was in my segment. And you were like, nah, he's a wank. He's on your list of wanks. Remember from all the episodes? You remember from all seen? the episodes you've seen? And uh-huh. all the, and all the yeah, very good. Good save. Very good. Well done. <laughs> convincing. Very convincing. Acting. I'm definitely going to listen to this one. Acting though. scene. <laughs> and you're back. <laughs> um, so, judgment passed. Beeth, either butthole. We're going yes. Massive. Oh, massive you wouldn't massive believe. Butthole. A resounding yes. yes. Yeah, that's that's 5 nil at home. That yeah. is the yeah. most confident win. Old mate is an anatomical sphincter. Like, mm. you can't... <laughs> A yeah, puckered yeah, one is that. Uh, yeah. A puckered one, yeah. A puckered mm-hmm. one. All right, next one. Ooh. I purposefully hit on the less attractive woman in a group at the bar to stick it to the conventionally attractive women. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think from the title? I think this guy's a loser. What do we think from <laughs> the title? This guy seems like a, a, like a loser. But I don't think he's a butthole, but butthole definitely... Adjacent? Butthole adjacent? Yeah, like adjacent butthole. Like a bit of a... Goal. Goal. Like, is that an honest... He's like, a left cheek. He's a yeah, left cheek. He he's might a tailbone. Be a bit of a left, well, he's a tailbone. Who is he hurting with that, though? I don't know. I, I Context-wise, I really want to see right that. Like, the from justification. The, from the title. What the justification's think? a bit like, oh, you're so lame. But it's a bit here you going. Yeah, but uh, is he a butthole, though? Like, is he hurting anyone? That's mm. my question. 
I don't know. I, I'm interested so to see if it's kind of lame, that, but not a butthole. Well, from that, like, I purposely on a less attractive woman in a group. I want to see if he's the conventionally def- attractive women. Yeah, is I want to see if he... activity or is that no? Well, you're he's, sitting there like, who is he hurting? He's around he's the butthole. Not, he's not really. Yeah, not really. Well, you're saying not. who is he hurting? I'm sitting there saying I'm wondering if he's going to do any damage to the conventionally attractive women. Yeah. What? You no. Uh, no way. Uh, unless he like hits on on this unattractive woman and then yeah. treats her like trash afterwards and tr- like I don't know what did he go out on a date with her did you go out on a date with her right, okay, need I'm, more context all right, all right, all right, go. okay no one in my friend group no woman would ever know I do this maybe it's a low sense of self-confidence unwilling to try and hit on more attractive women out of my league or an unwillingness to change my own appearance I'm overweight <laughs> but it is displaced well. I work out six times a week and have for a while. Imagine an NFL D lineman. I'm going to go with like... Defensive lineman. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. I also had a very rough upbringing. Whenever I go out with friends, I'm definitely seen as the quote-unquote uglier friend. They are very attractive and it doesn't make me self-conscious. Able to bring hot women home strictly off their looks with little to no conversation. But... Nine out of ten times, I'm able to swing a woman home more frequently because of what my friends call quote-unquote low standards. When in reality, nothing makes me happier than seeing the least conventionally attractive woman in a group being desired when their pretty friends are too pompous to allow a man to talk to them. Their face of shock just makes my day. To treat a woman like a queen who reads reads on on their face that they don't feel like one. Before you start bashing me, I always make them breakfast, let them sleep over, drive them home, explain my intentions prior... How I just want to have fun for the night. Not once has a woman said they don't want it, they don't want the same thing. Will I ever find true love? Maybe. Hopefully. I am currently ten months sober, no intention of returning to a bar, dating apps, and have lost and, and a lost love from high school is difficult. Edit. I did not expect this post to gain traction like this. I did expect this response. A discovered delusion of grandeur, I guess. But my ulterior motive was always to give a woman a good time. That's it. You may ask, be it I the butthole for only one night stands? I have a fear of commitment, and this was a well-oiled routine for years. I love the excitement, the emotions I felt. I'm terrified of getting bored of a long-term partner, but I yearn for it also. My therapist told me I should want a girlfriend less than need a girlfriend. So there's still a few kinks I need to work out myself before I'm ready for that. I haven't been intimate since sobriety, and honestly, been enjoying working on myself. But man, it feels good to put this out. So... This is um, Let's talk about the it. way BF he resentfully I talks about pretty women is a bit butthole-ish. Yeah, there's there's elements of butthole, I think, in the delivery. Yeah. But I think yeah. what he's doing isn't... It seems, but, it seems it's fine. It seems sincere. It's sincere. No. Like, if he's being upfront with these women... Um, and he's so telling them, yeah, cards if, on the table. Yeah. Okay. Look. Okay. Put it this way. This is where my his language cards. is butthole-y, but I, n- what he's doing is not necessarily butthole-y. He's being a bit of a butthole to himself, to be honest. Mm. All right. Well, let me put it this way. I, if I'm, if I, if if he puts all that out there, but leaves out the fact, or leaves out how he feels about attractive women, okay. and just says, I hit on girls. In the group, I take them home. I'm very nice about it. Da, 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 da. No one judges him at all. But, yeah, but then it's because but that he adds in their the pompous faces, like they're it's attractive. It's because he the adds compass. in his slight irritation at the attractive women, mm. self admittedly from the low self esteem he may have. Mm. We're starting to be like, well, maybe he is a bit of a jerk to other women. Like, we're we're inferring that information, I suppose. But from what he just said there, I'm like, look, man. At the end of the day, sleep with whoever you want. And that's what he's doing. Exactly. Like so to me, I'm not I'm not like there's not really any butthole about that. If you if you no. get some form of pleasure and you're not hurting anybody from sleeping or taking home the the, the quote, quote unquote, unquote less attractive girl, uh-huh. do whatever you want. Who cares? You're not hurting them, you're not hurting yourself. The fact that you've put it out on an online forum makes it seem like you're probably Looking clout for chasing clout. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, but, I think he's questioning like but, w- what he's doing because he's not chasing relationships. I think he's very confused about relationships. Is I'd say so. Out. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, because he's chatting to a therapist about it. Yeah. He, yeah. He needs to, he, he wants to want a girlfriend, not need a girlfriend. So I'll say that his comments about pretty women are butthole but okay. his actual actions aren't yeah, nothing, necessarily nothing about butthole-y. It seems butthole-y, I yeah, don't think. I think I he's think fine. Well, maybe if it comes from like his, so what he's saying, maybe because he is. 
if he sees himself as more unattractive. Mm. And if he's trying to approach these more attractive women and they mm. give him that pompous look of like, ugh, go away. Ugh, no. Buy yeah, me you drink. would no, develop you some sort of... You would, you would develop... A, you develop a resentment for that. Yeah. So maybe that's where that possibly comes from. But again, I don't want to put anything... Yeah, I, I'm, I think I don't it's want to put any, I, like, Yeah, I, I don't think now. it's full so, butthole, yeah. So it's not full butthole for you? I just thought, I, don't, I didn't like how he talked about pretty women. It sounded like he was resentful, but I don't think that he and himself is butthole in what he's doing. So? So probably no. No not, butthole. No butthole. No. Yeah, nah, I'm good. Maybe a left cheek. Maybe a left cheek. Yeah, maybe a left cheek. Maybe a left cheek or a hip. Mm. Okay, so Beath, either butthole. The first one we said yes. Oh, yes. undoubtedly. And I'm then resounding Se- yes. Second one, we're at about just a no. Yeah. Yeah. The Lean first one was no. definitely a... <laughs> that was... <laughs> this is... <laughs> Beath by the butthole. How fancy is it? It's me singing. <laughs> Very fancy. Oh, uh, good. Perfect. Thank you. You can do strings. With your voice? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is acapella, isn't it? Oh, that's yeah. amazing. This is acapella. <laughs> yeah, I've got those loop boards that Ed Sheeran has. of the butthole variety. We tell you, the listener. We told you. The person. I need outros. The butthole. Or that's not. what you need. I need outros. This you need is, outros. Yeah, and they're going to be shorter. I, the butthole. Um, no, the intros and are fader. good. No, the outro's got to be shorter. Oh, yeah. yeah good segment. Fine. Yeah. yeah, great. Tag. Yes. Tag. Hey, team. Hello. Hey. Would you like to step into a universe? Si. Si, senor. Si. Thank you. <laughs> si. Very good. Did you set that up? Si. That was... I feel like it's Vera, 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 Vera. Can we get a... Si. Si. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's okay. Yeah. We'll, can you we hang on once more, but a little more bass in, bass you in your voice? See? Yeah, that's, all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, yeah, bad, yeah, okay. Thank okay. you. I feel like it hits stronger when you're like away from the mic. Did I do it away from no, the No, no. I mean, if you hit it like a deliberate... See? Yeah, like, good. I don't know. How does that sound? Sounds like a cow. Oh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that cow just scored a hat trick against Tottenham. <laughs> 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 yes. Very, Very good. good. Um, you ready for my segment? I sure am. am. All right, give us the give us the sting. All right, ready? <laughs> Trano Day rips off game shows. Da, 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 da. All right, cool. So today I'm wow, going to rip off game shows. He put a lot of effort into that one. So much effort. <laughs> um, I'm so glad that you all appreciate how much effort I put into the sting season. Um, all right. Do you guys miss? Um, yes. Sesame I Street. I live for nostalgia. Oh, yeah. give me Sesame. Do you know who I miss? Who do you miss? Oscar the Grouch. He's still around. No, he's, he's still there. I don't think he is. He's definitely still there. It's all the happy ones. Hey, Elmo, come on. Get out of my garbage. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? What was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Which character <laughs> is that? Oscar, Oscar Soprano. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, get out of my garbage. Hey, come on, Elmo, get out of my garbage. That's really good. Uh, like, you said that. <laughs> he did. He, said that. <laughs> he did say that, probably. I think so. And then hey, Gordon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Cookie Monster. Yep. Uh, <laughs> hey, come on, <laughs> give me <laughs> some cookies, eh? <laughs> Oh, I'm there. I'm on Sesame Street. <laughs> I'm so there. Perfect. Oh. Nah, really good. Um, you know how they do the letter of the day stuff? Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I just thought we could have a letter of the day quiz and I'll just like pick. <gasps> yes. I've got a bunch of questions. Are we versing each other? Yes. So this <gasps> is like own. a it's a competition. All right. And it's the first. You, you got to keep a track of your own scores, though, because. All right. Oh, I'm God. 4 nil up. I, <laughs> I imagined doing this. Um. I imagine doing this quickly. So we did. So we did this last episode, actually. So I've already gotten four from last episode. So I'm four nil up. Okay, as you, oh, I'm as five you, nil up because uh, I'm with Mish. So as you, as, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> as you remember when you listen to the episode, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah for sure, for sure. Um, yeah. So uh, a letter of the day. I'm just going to read out a bunch of quiz questions. It's first to answer and get it right. Okay. Oh Otherwise, no points for anyone. Okay. Keep right, track your own points. I'm. I'm hoping it's the third letter of the alphabet. And the letter of the day. Uh, someone give me a letter. C. No. C. Uh, C. Oh. <laughs> C. 
C. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. We're doing C. Yeah. Yep, let's all right, do it. Cool. Well, I only planned for T, so we're doing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right, hands on nothing, and get ready to say the answer first. All right, okay. ready? T. What? Ready? Norse god of thunder. Thor. Thor. Uh, Vera. Yeah, we'll bleep it. <laughs> Vera. That's one point one. to Vera. Bangkok is its capital. Thailand. Thailand. Gabe. Gabe. One one. First name of rapper Shakur. Tupac. Frick. Two one. Region that is home to Dracula. Transylvania. Transylvania. Gabe. Dang it. Three one. Those are my people. Okay. London's River. Thames. Thames. That was definitely Vera. Oh. I said that first. <laughs> no, you, you said Thames. Yeah, you said Thames. I said Thames. Okay. I'm only giving it to you because. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. You never Pronunciation, it. it does not matter. No, I'm going right. to call it a draw. Right. No. Still 3 1. Yeah, still 3 1. God. Italian region of Florence. Tuscan. What? Turin. Tuscany. That's it. Isn't it Turin? No, it's Tuscany. Oh. Fair enough. Queen. Tuscany. So what's that? 3 2? 3 2. Yep. Disease known as TB. Tuberculosis. Gabe. What? Yeah, 100%. I'm Capital not giving you Taiwan. any matches anymore. What? Taipei. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, well done. I had no clue. That's 4 3. Okay. Korean martial art. Taekwondo. Yep. Wow. Well, well, oh. well done. <laughs> well done. Insane. You even said the hyphen. I liked it. You said the hyphen. It's all about the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. Taekwondo. Filipino language. Tagalog. Tagalog. Come yeah, on. no, you said pronunciation doesn't matter. Damn so it. Five Gabe. four. Five yeah. four Gabe. Five four Gabe. Oh, okay. Huge. I'm sweating. Beijing Square and site of a 1989 Tiamat. massacre. Tiananmen. Well, well yeah. done. Well oh, done. Yeah, I didn't have that. Great Five job. Five all. City Woo. about 15 miles south of San Diego. City? Yep, city about 15. Tijuana. Yes, well wow, done. Well done. God, six five. Damn. Six five? I know, yeah, my, six five. I know my geography. Okay. Australian island and state. Tasmania. Tasmania. Boom. Gabe. Uh, six, 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 six. Mexican state or hot sauce brand? Tabasco. Boom. Nice. Well done. Well done. Seven, six? Yeah. Yes. Few to go. <laughs> few to go. Yeah, few to go. There's Bro, a lot. How many? Yeah, a lot. Non-stick chemical made by Dupont. Tesco. Yes. Nice. No. Wrong. Incorrect. Oh god. Tac. Um, Blue tack. No. no. Non-stick chemical made by Tesco. Made by Dupont. Dupont. Non-stick chemical. Two. two one. I don't know. Teflon. Oh, oh, Ta- I was, I was, I was so close. I was gonna turpentine. Damn Teflon. It. All right. Seven six. Seven yeah. six still. Yep. Yeah. Broadway's equivalent to the Oscar award. Tony. Tony's. Yes. Mm, seven seven. That should have been mine. Biggest British retailer. Tesco. Yes. <laughs> <Eight seven>. <laughs> <laughs> Tropical island visited by the HMS Bounty. Uh, um, Thailand? Tahiti. Next one. <sighs> Everything's bigger in this US state. Texas. Yes. Nice. Capital Japan. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. what's points? Eight. Well, are we, are we both Okay, well, we won't do this one. Eight, seven, it was what? Tokyo. Oh, it was Tokyo. Wait, That's is, it, okay. is it seven, seven or is it eight, seven? It's eight, seven. Eight, I seven. Think, yeah. eight, eight seven, seven, you're up. Eight, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, seven. Yep. And the capital of Japan is Tokyo, but we're getting rid of that. Okay. Right, there's three to go. <sighs> Pressure's on. I'm sweating. Same. Russian video game with falling blocks. Tetris. Boom. <sighs> eight, eight. English dynasty of Henry VIII and Elizabeth. Tudors. Yes. Well done. <laughs> oh, that's colossal. That's huge. So Kamish is definitely on the winning side. It's just whether you can pull it back to 9-9. Nine, nine. I'm pretty sure this one's uh, worth two points. No, hang on. He's seven. No. 9-8. No, 9-8 eight. Nine, eight now. Nine, eight. Oh, Kamish I'm, has been known to cheat. I'm pretty sure this is um, <laughs> this one's worth two points, isn't it, to increase yeah, the drama? Yeah, this one's, where? This two one's worth two points. Oh, thunk it. no. Okay. Well, I don't make the rules. Let's go. Ethnic group of Sri Lanka and Southern India. Tamil. Yes. Well done. <laughs> I am <laughs> colossal. That's why that map, That's is, why on the the map wall. is on the wall. Oh, man. Oh, good job. Oh, well done. That was so good. Oh, please I, tell me this, uh, that's the only one. That, that was, was way too can, Yeah, can that we, was the only one. Can we oh, do the final question now? Goodness. <laughs> right, it's worth so, three points. Okay, so what? outside of this, right? What? Final question. You had another one? No, God, no. Oh. No, I have a, a couple of little... Uh, talking points oh. just for Vera I and need to breathe. Gabriel. Yep. Okay. Um, I Holy haven't really duly. Yep. They're full on. Hey. Yeah, bro. That was intense. Yeah, I I'm sweating from. And everywhere. the fact that you guys got so 
close. Yeah, it was neck and neck. made it better. Neck and neck the whole way. It was really, really good. Yeah. All right. Final question. So, Vera. Yes. You are a relationship gal. I'm an expert. You're an expert. You have a current partner. What a babe. What a babe. <laughs> Attractive. Mm-hmm. Handsome. Mm. Smart. All right. So smart. Um, now uh, talk about me. You, yeah, Gabe, you <laughs> Go exist. to me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ladies, form a line. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging. Single. Gabe, you are, you are somewhat unattached. That is correct. I am somewhat, somewhat unattached. unattached. Um, I have a couple of little questions mm. that people have just posted on Reddit. Now okay. we have... I'm gonna, not going to weigh in that much. I'm sort of mm. going to let you guys ding, ding, ding. talk about it. Not really ding, ding, ding. Just this is good because it's two different perspectives. Mm. Oh, you'd think that'd be why I planned the segment. What? See. Correct. See. Correct. 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 <laughs> correct. All right. So um, four statements with a little bit of backstory and then we'll just talk it out. See how we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Amazing woman. Mm. Mm. I have been dating for the past two months. Oh, that's two months ago. Just told me. That she has a child. Mm. Oh. How do I end things with her she's as gentle been... and as nice as possible? Okay, oh, so she's been obvious... with him two months and he's just found out. So it's an obvious deal breaker for him then. <sighs> I don't know if it's the dishonesty is a deal breaker or if, oh, is it di- is it dishonest? If yeah, she's it is. not saying it, no, it withholding is knowledge, withholding information like that. Oh, I get not telling on the first date first necessarily. Couple, yeah. Just till you kind of go, okay, well, I like him. I'm going to talk a little bit more about my life. But yeah. I think it's very dishonest. It's, yeah. Surely it Two comes up. Two months in. Surely it comes surely. up in general chat. Salutes. General chat. Surely it comes up in general chat like, oh, hey, by the way, oh, what are you doing today? I'm picking up my kid. Or I was changing yeah, my kid's diaper. Or not- whatever. Sorry, I can't reply. I'm with my kid. Or children. <laughs> um, I mean, did they? Okay, so the question would be, was she being casual with him? And to, then they decided that they were going to be together. Like, what's, I what's feel like the situation? The fact that he said it was two months of this amazing woman, yeah. then that amazingness, surely the chat is flowing well and you guys, mm. they're hitting it off. At that point, somewhere in there surely. to be like, ah, ha, 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 how funny. Oh, my goodness. Scomo is such a dweeb. Ha, ha, I've got a kid. Ha, 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 ha. I don't think like, he's being a jerk in this. you got a in there somewhere. Like, I don't think he's the jerk in this. I think no. that he may be losing out on a good relationship. But yeah. if he does not want children, if then, that's what he does not want, then... Then that's it. So, this has it. been provided with an update. Ooh. Me like it. I have officially ended things with her. Okay. Like most of you suggested, I was honest and told her the truth. I told her that I didn't want to be involved with a child that isn't mine. Mm. She did get emotional and asked me to give her a chance to see if it might work out. But yeah. I just told her that it is better that we part ways now because I knew it eventually wasn't, was going to come to a breaking point. I didn't ask her anything about why she didn't tell me for two months because at this point it really didn't matter anymore. I don't see the past two months with her as a waste of time because I did have my fun with her. I'll just look back at my experience with her as a fling that I enjoyed my time with for a bit. I definitely don't regret my time with her. Some people were mad at me because I didn't want to date a woman with a child. Truth be told, it's my life and I don't have to explain myself to anybody. Mm. I don't want to spend time and effort to be involved in the life of a child that's not mine. I'm sure there are plenty of men out there for her who would love to be a part of her and her daughter's life, but I am not that man. That's fair. Yeah, very, that's very fair. grown up. Answer. But why not tell somebody for two months? Yeah, yeah. that's really that's, dishonest. Maybe she was scared. Maybe she's like, oh, every time like, I say I it to a really cool like guy, they always gonna... go away, and it's like, oh my god, I don't want to scare him away. Like I don't know. Maybe she, maybe it, it's happened okay, a lot. Okay, so it. hang on. Maybe. So let me put my tin foil hat on. Go on then. I love a conspiracy. Let's <laughs> okay. Let me put. My, do <laughs> you think? And is this in the realm yep. of somebody to do? Mm. Think to themselves, lizard people. I'm gonna purposely <laughs> develop uh, a relationship oh, with this man oh, so uh, that he uh, falls slug, for me, and then when I drop the kid bomb, try and slugworth him. What it's that slugworthing like slugworth in Charlie the Chocolate Factory? Oh, god, it gets him in and then goes, By the way, gobstopper. I don't know. All right, I felt like it worked. <laughs> 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 you guys both came in looking like, what are you on about? You got the blank stares. I, yeah. <laughs> um, is that within the realm of um, someone to do? I mean, it, it could be. More often though, it feels like. Is that evil? That's evil. That feels evil. I think it's dishonest. I don't, mu- know if, I don't know if it's, it's evil. Is it evil? Is it evil? 
not it? Vivil. Oh, I don't feel like that's a Vera Vivil. move. Yo. It's not Vivil. But um, it does feel toxic. It does they, yeah, feel yeah, it does. two yeah. months. Like that's yeah. it does uh, feeble evil. It feebles evil. Yeah. And and I question he probably didn't like her that much because if someone really likes you, there's a lot that they will put up with. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But All I right. guess if he's like fully I don't want kids. Next he's one. N- he's not the joke. Yeah, um, that's fair. No, next one. Boyfriend hates women, but not me. Okay, no. Red <laughs> flags <laughs> everywhere. Red flags are flying wait, through wait. the air. <laughs> it's just a cavalcade of red Good flags. Good lord. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, yes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna offer something. Okay? okay, I'm just gonna offer something. Okay. Flip the roles. Flip the switch. Maybe if it's a guy that says she just hates men, but not me. She hates all men, but not me. Uh, still, it's a bit red Same flaggy, thing. but also, yeah, it is a bit. Re- I don't know. Oh, it depends that, what her backstory tell is. Tell you what? Did you want to throw out that guitar that you've got? Because its tune has changed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's my boy going with this? <laughs> For a no long time, time I had no idea. Yeah, I think it's pretty red flaggy to be completely against the gender that you are seeing. I yeah. think, yeah, that's problematic. Definitely. Yeah. And I, I feel the same way both ways. Like if it was a mm. guy that had a girl with her and she's like, I hate all men, but you're all right. Yeah. I'd be like, nah, bro. That straight away, straight off the bat, it makes... The guy feel like, oh, this is such a privilege for me dating you because you hate all because men. Because I hate all men. So then it's the same the yeah. other way around. She would feel <clears throat> like it's such a privilege that she happened to snag this one because he hates all women, but you're all right. Like it's gaslighting and it's a big no-no. Me no likey. Huge red flags. Both genders. Flip the roles. Turn the tables. Table so turns. Do you want the... Yeah, the let's back. have the context in the backstory. Yep. I've been with my partner for... Seven years. Okay. Okay, so she obviously loves him. And we've him. gotten through a lot. Okay. I wasn't initially aware of how much he hated women when we got together, but over the years, it's only gotten worse. Oh Nowadays, he gets into full-blown rants about how miserable, pathetic, and evil people women are. He claims to still like and respect mm. me, but Bro. continuously asks me if no. I see the same way, no. say, see things the same way he does. This feels... I can say in some ways I do understand him, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't agree. So he'll basically ask me to defend all women. (sighs) Example, tonight was to name a woman that has done anything that contributed to society. Brother. I found the question so patronizing, I told him I wouldn't continue the talk. And he says, of course, that's because I have nobody to list. First of all, I'm getting heated reading this because I didn't give this enough thought when I screenshotted this. Yeah. Other wow. than this, I love him a lot, and there's still a no, lot to cherish no, about no, our relationship, no, darling. No, he no, is no, 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 disrespecting no, no, no. you as a woman. Yes, a big no nos. No, huge red flags. You need to like. Can you imagine the stones to be like, name a woman that's contributed to society, yeah, nah, bro. and standing? Bro. By I that could hill. give you a holy Bible's worth. Man, it's of not. There's just uh, so much. Like, how I don't know how she's gotten seven years in. And yeah, not how? seeing the red flags the whole way along the way. Like at that, at what point do you go? This is your own fault, darling. Yeah, to get to this, this far, yeah, yeah, you can see it, and you obviously can see it because she's noted it down and been like, "Oh, is this a problem?" I'm gonna say yes. though, like if you're in, you're Bro. with someone who does not like the opposite gender, but you're with them and you show them what a good person can look like, yeah. and they still don't change their tune, mm. and it gets worse. Mm. The guy's a fool. Yeah. Get rid of him. Yeah, the the guy's a loser. Yeah. Hey, I'm getting really turned off by my girlfriend because her feet smell terrible. <laughs> okay. I can't take it anymore. When her shoes come off, I literally go into the other room. It's oh, that's so uh, bad. Wow. Does she shower? I can't even describe how bad it is. Am I at a point where we should just break up? No, you get her to have Botox in her feet. Like What? That deals yeah, with the problem. Like the it stops it's the sweat. And stuff. Yeah, Botox stops sweat. The fact you knew that and you were so confident made me feel so inadequate. <laughs> what do you mean, man? You were straight up like, yep, that is a legitimate strategy. Yeah, Botox, bro, I, I, sw- you know I sweat I a lot, bro. I've, I've been Googling. I, I Google how to, <laughs> how to control your sweats and I'm, and one option was Botox. And I'm like, all right, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting, I'll just drink more water. You're not getting filler. <laughs> No, in, in your it's th- not a no. filler. It just stops like the sweat. Like people yeah. get it in their armpits a you're lot. You're not getting like the plump feet. 
No. Yeah, it, it, it's not a filler. It's then more important it's a to muscle make sure. Relaxant. Yeah, it's then more important to make sure you're um, hydrated because yeah. sweating is a hydration it. technique for your body to go, oh, I need to cool down. So you it's need to cool make down sure. Technique. It's not a sorry. I beg yeah, your it's pardon. Not a hydration. Sorry, yeah, it's a cool down technique. So you need to make sure you're hydrated so that you can do it. Cool yourself down. I feel like it's ways. a dumb reason to break up with someone though. Like there's stuff you can do. You imagine the there is stuff stench. you can do. Can you imagine the stench? Out of the room. Is he talking to Bro. her and telling her like he how do you approach it? Out of you the say room. your feet are rank. Get some Botox. <laughs> How to get out of the room? No, she, no, no, no you that is not a good reason to break up with someone. Not. No, you're right. It's not. If it was you, I'm self-conscious of my sweating, obviously, because I just said that. Then imagine if she goes to me, "Hey, you stink. Can you get Botox in your no all over your back? No, you wouldn't. I don't know. That's not the first step. Obviously, I was hyperbole for the sake of the story, but. I would say, I would say what would your you feet, say? I would say your feet really I'm sorry, your feet really stink. It's really hard for me to enjoy my time with you. <laughs> Let's wash your socks. Or you can have some of that talcum powder stuff for your feet or whatever. Let's wash your socks. Let's build a relationship <laughs> around <laughs> here and wash the socks. Okay, so you're gonna break up with someone yep. who's awesome in every other way because their feet stink. The feet stink. They didn't say they were awesome in every other way. Well, they they could have said, other flaws. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they could have other flaws. <laughs> the feet stank. The feet stank. Okay, give us context. If the feet no, that's stank. it. That, that's that's the, it? That's the context so, I have. So the feet stank, right? If you're going to get intimate. Oh, you can't. I, I couldn't yeah, get intimate. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Just put a I peg can't. on your nose, boy. Oh, no. wow. You're so attractive. That's so attractive. <laughs> you are being insane. How confident would she feel to be like, oh, yeah, look at him. He's ready to he's ready to be intimate with me with a peg on his nose well, because what, my Well, do it in the stink. shower. Come on. No. No. Showers never no, no, no one has fun in the, the showers. Shower. What? Are you serious? Whoa, no one has Whoa. fun in the shower. Gabriel. Oh. Nah, showers bang average. Gabriel, we're going to have to talk later. Average. That's at, terrible. Look, it's a it's what do you and mean half, the seven shower out of ten no fun. Top. 7 out of 10 tops. You don't think 7 out of 10s are fun? Seven All out right, ten listeners. Fun. 7 out of 10 tops. In the Way shower. in the shower. Yeah, yeah. Rate yay the shower. or nay? Rate shower intimacy. Yay or nay? Uh, no, rate it out of ten. I'm on the. I'm on the. Or five because you can just cut it in half. Whatever, whatever. Oh. Rate it. No, we need a, a set rating. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll go number. four out of ten. So, thank you. Are there you, you kidding go. me? I, I mean, sorry, four out of five. Four out of five. So oh eight, out, eight out of ten. <laughs> so an eight out of ten. Yeah, an eight out of ten. I, am, it's I think se- it's, it depends on the day. It's like. Seven out of ten tops for me, and then it's on average a five out of ten. It's passable. It's what would you give your have worst you fallen over experience? in the shower? Worst shower <laughs> give experience. Give your worst shower yeah, what's your worst out shower? of ten. Uh, two and a half, three. Like a two and a half, three? Did it involve falling? No, <laughs> no, it didn't involve falling. Nice. You, you, Did you slip though? No. Uh, no. Just uncomfortable. A little bit. We got to try and get this PG, by the way. Oh That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Our audience are all definitely. We're all talking plus. about clean feet. I swear, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> 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 when you said clean feet, so. Uh yeah no um right. shower is eh. seven out of ten tops uh the, the feet, ding from me but the feet eh. I agree that if it's if the fact that it's an idea that they're floating yep then do it all right see you later because of your feet stink all right agree. last one really quick do I thirty one male mm-hmm. settle for her thirty two female I'm seven years deep into a relationship and I know she's not the woman I'm excited to be with or dreamed about my whole life. Seven years. Bloody. I want a woman who respects boundaries mutually, takes care of herself, works out a few days a week like I do, takes responsibility for herself, is driven, motivated, cleans up after herself, doesn't leave trash, food, clothes, dishes, etc. laying around. So does she just positive exist? friends or who are kind and supportive. Someone who can have an adult conversation without yelling, screaming and crying. She's a my current leader. girlfriend is just a mouth breather about the opposite of all of those things. She gives me anxiety, forces me to be around crappy people, guilts me to do whatever guilts me to do whatever it is she wants and I don't care about how I feel. Mm. I'm wasting my life away and I'm getting depressed and losing confidence. I need to pull the mandate off and break up with her. One, am I settling? Two, is this enough enough to break up with somebody? Yes. And yes. three, <laughs> is it possible to find the woman of my dreams still, which I found to be the saddest sentence I've read on Reddit. Oh bless. He's only He's only <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you find the microphone? It's all right. You get used to it. It becomes a part of you at the end. It's my first time. Um, so, yeah, he needs to break up with her if he is that miserable. Yeah. What? What is this with people? Yeah, imagine considering miserable? settling at thirty-one. You're like yeah, thirty-one. Your life is not over till you're a hundred. That's true. Just kidding. Your your life's still good. Hundred and one year olds, good. Yeah. All yeah, the hundred and one year olds on the pod. Yeah. 
your life still means something. Yeah. <laughs> On the Brody hashtag No Plan B podcast, we're inclusive of everyone. Yeah. A hundred plus. Yeah. Hundred plus. A hundred plus. Still time to live for yeah. sure. I assume the world's number one. 100 plus year inclusive podcast. Yeah, top three at least. Top three at least. Definitely at least. top three. Hey, shout out. Can you uh, call us and let us know if you're over 100 listening Please. to the podcast? Yeah, call us. Call us. Call us on our ass. Get on the blog. Send us life. a fax. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, message us. <laughs> no, send us a fax. Yeah, send Carry us a, a pigeon. Carry a pigeon. <laughs> Smoke signal your way into our hearts. <laughs> yeah. What was the thing again? I don't know. Some dude's settling because... Oh, yeah, no, he's settling. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, bro. That's like, number one, yes, you are settling. Don't do it. Yeah. Number two, yes, break up. And number three, can I still find love? Yes, you can. The first thing you've got to love is yourself. Oh, that's the first thing you've got to do, bro. All right? You find yourself first and then the rest will fill itself in. Soon. Why be miserable your whole life? Soon. Exactly. Don't do it. She's Soon. made you lose yourself mm. in the moment. You want it. You better never let it go. Oh, you only get one, one shot. shot. Do, not Do not miss your chance, chance to blow. blow. This yeah, opportunity to get life. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't finish this there. This life opportunity, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Uh, Tej. Tej. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the wrap up of the episode two. Yep. Thanks, mate. Of episode the- two of um, season two, the sting season. Uh, now we're going to start talking about um, wrestling and stuff. So, yeah. if you want to stick around uh, with that, wait, please what, do. What's it called? We're doing our... Um, Re- wrestling write-up. I have a thing for it prepared. Uh, premature... Preamble. Uh, we're preambling. We're, yeah, that's right. Preamble. We've got Thanks, preamble Daddy. right now. Yes. We're preambling. But um, previously, you may have heard the sting for the wrestling write-up. I was uh, premature stimulation. <laughs> but um, <laughs> right here, uh, doctor. Now, no right, one likes that. No, never. But right now, we've got a preamble. So, if you guys want to follow myself... I am Gabriel Zaya. I am at the Real Gabe Bro on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you want to follow the team, we are at Bro Day Tag Team on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and YouTube, and YouTube. And if you'd like to follow myself, I am at Oday QWA. Yes, got it, got it. My name is Trent Oday, and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. Yep. So, by the way, guys, share it. Share the pod. Get yeah, it out there. Do it. Rate it on Spotify. Give us five stars. Uh, Apple Podcasts, rate it. Yeah. Kamish, Comment. where can we follow you? Co- I'll do the plug. He's plugging. Wait, I'll, wait I'll, 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 I'll do the plug and then I'll Surely you would segue. Do the, okay, fine. I'll seg- then I'll segue. Oh. <laughs> Professionals. Um, Isn't a segue something you get on? Never mind. <laughs> no, it is. No, yeah. That's Kamish, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come We're on. trying to Take amble. I'm trying to amble. <laughs> Too much pre would I amble. Uh, yeah. Definitely, we need you guys' support. Mm. Share it. Tell your friends to listen. Tell your friends' friends to listen. Tell their friends to listen. Um, tell your mum to listen. Tell my mum to listen. Tell his mum to listen. Tell her mum. To, uh, tell everyone to listen, right? This is... And we're looking know. for graphics designers. Oh, merch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Graphic yeah, yeah. designers. We need you. Yeah. We need merch. And yes. we are. We suck at drawing. We, we do. can do like... We can get by on the other stuff. But merch, we need. Yes. So help us. Help us. Help Kamish. us help you. Yes. Plug Where away. can we plug? Plug yourself. Uh, you can find me at QWA Commissioner Vera Voltaire um, on Instagram and on Facebook. Yay. Yay. Sweet. All right. Play Sweet the wrestling round. So now team. wrestling round. It's someone, isn't it? Play it. And it is for the wrestling roundup. Yes. Seamless transition. <laughs> that was magic. Well hey, done. Great that. job. Thank you very much. Hey, it's pro. ironic that the wrestling roundup is done by wrestlers. How ironic. How ironic. Isn't it ironic? Um, what we, did we do? What did we do recently? Yeah, recently, your boys took your a boys. trip down to the Queensland Universe. Wrestling Alliance in Rockhampton. Rockhampton. In Universe 4700. Well done. Good remembering of the universe names. And we became... Your first ever and only Queensland Wrestling Alliance Rockhampton Tag Team Champions. We are experienced wrestlers. Experienced wrestlers. And we are looking for challenges. All comers, you come for us and we will tear you down. We are the multiverse moguls, the men from beyond the stars. We are undefeatable. Yeah. But anyway, um, the tag team was fun. The match was awesome. Oh, so the whole tournament, actually. Good. Yeah. 
The tournament was fantastic. Wake Fair. All's most wanted. Yep. Two of the most fun guys I think I've worked with. Fair play to commission uh, to a, fel- a fellow commissioner, to Cherry fellow Bombshell. Commissioner. Hello, Commis- Cherry. To fair play to Commissioner Cherry Bombshell, she can put on a cracking tag team tournament. Yeah. And uh, all the teams in them, 17th step, their new gear looks fantastic. They yep. came out looking like a unit. Oh, Wake yep. Hall's most wanted are two of the most fun guys that you could possibly yeah. think to step into a ring with. Oh, yep. Dick Storm, incredibly talented guys. Yeah. Um, see them regularly up at QWA, cute obviously, as you would know. Very They're, cute kids. Yeah, very cute kids. Bless but them. the whole tournament was so much fun. Yeah. Um, and the crowd by the end. Oh, they were oh, e- ecstatic. They were incredible. At the bit. They were yeah. frothing for all of it. It was so, so much fun. And... Anytime we visit Universe 4700, they always, always support us huge. So we massively appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Every single time we come down. And, and there's um, so many great fans that support us. And, yeah. it, and now the they're running we monthly as well. Yeah. So, yep. So instead of the regular six shows a year they've been having, they're now at 11 or 12 a year. Yeah. And the fact that they're wanting to do that proves the expansion of wrestling across the state. Yeah. Yep. And especially in the central Definitely. and the north where it needs to be. Definitely. Because uh, right. Brisbane obviously has quite a, a full market already. Yeah. To grow it in the central and northern parts of the state mm. um, is something that I think QWA are working really hard on. Yep. yep and yep. it's it's really positive to see a turnout like that for their first back to back monthly show. Mm. It was really, really good. Really, really positive. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. it was lots of fun. Something everyone should be proud of. Yeah. And everyone at QWA, I know Colton Cherry doing a fantastic job. They're running things and putting it all together. So they should be uh, very happy with themselves. Yeah, definitely. Um, but moving on to other things, uh, usually we would talk ourselves about wrestling and sort of what we have and the experiences we have. Yeah. But, but- we have. Like you, as you stated at the beginning of the show, Vera, you were a little bit of a wrestling virgin prior to this. I was. And you've been in the commissioner job for a year, two years now? Yeah, going on, going probably on going years. on two years. So I thought we would just, for those people wondering what it's like, not as in-ring performers, but as outside of the ring performers, the, the little bit of glue that holds the matches together in between bits, what it's like them so i thought we would just fire off some questions at you and you can add from your experience so far what it's been like what you hope to improve on in the future etc yeah sound good sounds great sweet so um commissioning straight away mm-hmm. how have you found adapting and developing that actually let's go back to the vera character how have you found developing that character from it being an idea um I'm an ideas woman, so um, I've loved bouncing ideas. I love creativity. Um, and the Vera character kind of almost evolved naturally. She was originally Vera Valkyrie, but then we've discovered there is a Valkyrie already um, in, in wrestling. AEW, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, so we decided to change the name to... To, to Voltaire, be- who is a French philosopher. Yeah, nice. Very cool. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, pretty pretty easy for her to evolve. Um, she obviously evolved even more through the years um, and progressed in her character. Mm. Um, I found playing a heel really, really cathartic. Bad guys. <laughs> nice. Bad guys always have more fun. Yeah, yeah bad guys have so much fun. Yeah. Um, gets the inner beast out. Yep. As a performer, because you were usually stage performance prior. Yes. Did you find stepping into a live audience environment Difficult because I know when we first did it, it was a different kind of adrenaline. Mm. When we stepped out, because I know you didn't have almost any performance experience nope. prior, nothing, and I was very uh, sheltered in my performance experience. So mm. stepping out into a live crowd environment is totally different. Yeah, I assume when you've had as much experience as you have had in live theater, mm. uh, in performance theater, sort of thing, stepping out into that live interaction environment is totally different. How did you find that? Um, yeah, the theatre crowd is definitely very different to the wrestling crowd and yes. I found it almost jarring yeah. at first because there's so much interaction yeah. and the crowds are wild. Yep. You guys are wild and it's I love great. it. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's so fun. So the, the theatre crowd's pretty polite. The um, A question I've got. So was did you feel as did you sense a stark difference in how much things can change on the fly to just be like, oh, no, no, yeah, we're doing this. Oh, no, we're doing this now. Oh, we're doing this now. And yeah, we're doing this yeah, now. yeah. That was the yeah, other yeah. thing. Like in theatre, you rehearse yeah, for yeah. months. Yep, yep. Uh, in wrestling, day off, people are like, oh, we're doing this. And even an hour before, yeah. it's like, oh, we've changed it. We're doing this. I'm like, 
Okay. All right. And then sometimes fingers fly off. Like it's wild. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I wouldn't know. That wasn't me. That was the other guy. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay. So now you've been doing it for, for two, two years. Have you found yeah, that two. you've uh, sort of found your niche in the way that you commissioner things mm. like, and the way that you've started to produce your own product? Have you found a niche in that? Yeah, I have. Um, I it's I guess at first when you are starting in on a role like Vera, it doesn't sit as comfortably. Um, mm. Now it's just like putting a jacket on. Okay. Yeah, yeah and it's sort of it's, it's easy. Natural. To Even the vernacular. Yeah. Is very different. Yeah. So when I first started, I have a I had a lot of trouble using kind of the meta language from wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, found yeah. it hard to get everything in order properly, and which I had is to so keep asking. which is so funny because you watch it as kids. And you, you know what a, you know what a fatal four way is. Yeah, I say that out loud. Anyone who's watched wrestling as a kid knows immediately that that's four people in a match all trying to win at the same time. And mm. I said that to to Vera, and Vera looks at me and goes, "What does that mean? What yeah. what is that phrase?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was uh, what I picked up as well over your past couple of years uh, as a commission is your cadence is becoming more wrestling. It's yeah. becoming more. You sort of know when to pause, when to hold, get the crowd in. Hold and then hit that whatever the line is or the stipulation match or whatever it is. You you draw them in and then bang, you drop it. Like you've got them, you're in control of the crowd a little bit more, and they mm. like they want to be on that journey. I found anyway with promos. So yeah, hats off to you. you yeah, yeah, and and Thank it's you. I guess when you're not, I suppose you you might find this, you might not. When you're not in an in ring role and you find yourself on the outer mm. most of the time. The eyes might not always be on you, but you still always have to be doing a job out there. You still have yeah, to always staying in character. You're always on. You're yep. always on. Like yeah. even though yeah. the the eyes necessarily are probably eighty five percent on the action that's happening in the ring, but you can't take a foot off the pedal with your character work. You've still got to be out there. You've still got to be interacting. You've yeah. still got to be doing the jobs that are assigned to you. And yeah. I suppose in theatre, you're on for your scene. You Get might. On. Yeah, you might get on, then you might get off. You Exit might have stage to, left, come back. Yeah, yeah quickly yeah. have a chance to refresh your lines and be like, all right, let's go. All right, yeah. on the next one. Wrestling. Yes, on. Soon you're through. As soon as you're in, you're in. You're in. That's it. That's it. The second until you step back out through that curtain, mm. you're you're on. Your job is continuous. Yeah, I've mastered the art of resting bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to believe that? <laughs> uh, no, no, that's peach. No, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, um, yeah, resting bitch face sits in, um, loose shit. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because in in my life I have resting small face. Oh, you there do you go. actually yeah. have Fair a figure. little bit of yeah. resting. Even small when I'm face. mad, little small. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, very lovely. All right, so moving forward now, now that you're looking, I guess we know we've done a bit of the past, we've done a bit of the now, moving into the future. Oh, what? Where do you hope that? your role as commissioner goes and how long uh, do you see yourself being in the role and hmm. doing those sorts of things and doing wrestling? Is this sort of like a, a just for now thing or is it something that you enjoy doing that you don't really see an end to just yet? Great question, Trent. Yeah, that is a great question. Um, I don't I don't see an end to it. It was actually kind of a real leap of faith. I kind of was interested in it and I actually wouldn't mind being a wrestler but I have an injury that prevents me from wrestling. Yeah, you said which that Which is you... a shame because I I enjoy athleticism and I enjoy violence. Good. <laughs> Very good. The whisper made that necessary. Yeah. Very evil. <laughs> Very evil. Very evil. Um, yeah, I can see it going. I do see changes for Vera in the near future. Yeah, Some really. quite significant changes. Um, but she's a fun character. I do really like her. But yeah, there's definitely some change coming, guys. Is there any likeness to Commander Voltaire, who we've had? Uh, oh, Commander Voltaire. Look, she's not Vival. She's not Vival. No, she's she's very much the distinguished commander. Authoritarian. 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 Dic dic dictatorial. Yeah, there <laughs> is, yeah. <laughs> I was hovering over that beat button. <laughs> yeah, that ain't, that ain't loose that shit. That ain't loose shit. Um, yeah, well, I mean, unless we have any other further questions. Nope. This has been really fun. This yeah. has been really fun. This thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being a guest. All right. Um, a very. It was very wrestling as well. It was like ten minutes before the pod. <laughs> we were like, oh yeah, um, jump in. <laughs> yeah, you're in commission. Yeah, <laughs> rather than have you sit there for however. Fair long. enough. Yeah. I was only supposed to be in for a segment, but it, yeah, definitely very wrestling. Yeah, yeah. throw you in the deep end. Yeah, yeah throw you in. Um, one final question before we wrap up. Okay. 
Where's the clitoris? Oh, tell us where it is. <laughs> Just tell us. For God's sake. If you don't know already, you got problems. Uh, it doesn't exist. All right. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're going to r- we're going to wrap the pot up. No, it doesn't. We're going to wrap the pot up. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, um, follow all of our socials. Get around us. Get around everyone. Get around wrestling as a whole. It's yeah, so much fun. Do that. But yeah, other than that, we love you. Bye. Bye. Tag. <laughs>